So this is the first time that I did the CO2 test, uh, let's see CO2 magazine. I had that magazine for a while but never get around to test it. Um, I was quite surprised that it worked pretty well. Uh, also on the, let's say, regular nozzle, let's say, for green gas. The only thing that you will notice when you see the graphs later on is that the FPS gets quite high on uh, the uh, CO2 use instead of the green gas. Uh, but the good thing as well was that it could be quite balanced out. So you can use it with green gas, red gas and CO2 fine. And of course then HPA as well. Without having a one of another build let's say. So uh, the CO2 can clearly handle stronger ham hammer springs. Stronger than green gas and red gas can handle. But at the same time, it was not really a benefit in doing that. And that will only increase more wear and tear. Let's say when you dry fire on the fire pin, it is more of an impact. It's not uh, slowed down by the, the valve of the magazine. So I don't think that's a smart idea to do. And there was not really a positive side to it to do so. Only that it maybe feels a little bit more real, let's say, when you and then we have to cycle the bolt back but besides that it's it's not really a uh, plus side to it um, but something that you do notice with the more uh, higher air pressure let's say of the CO2 so it will push the bolt back uh, in a really fast way even so fast that uh, my lighter disconnect spring setup, let's say, could not keep up with the cycling of the bolt. The bolt moved too fast and could not grab the hammer in time to make it stop from firing again. So it needed to, it needed to be increased, the spring wire, to keep up with the bolt. Um, but that was basically all. Once I figured out that that was the issue, it was really easy to use the CO2 um, uh, platform magazine on it on the platform um, also one thing that I did kind of notice when I was going really frame by frame the nozzle was also kind of going a little bit too slow for the bolt so sometimes it's still kind of sticking out when the bolt is going forward so you might also want to increase that spring tension when you go for CO2 but besides that, uh, it was a really an, uh, yeah good setup, it worked well. And I think also the higher pressure it works better for this type of a system. So in case your green gas is going a little bit soft, let's say, because of the temperature, it's a little bit low of pressure, you might get some cycling issues. Because it's missing that momentum that the bolt is generating in a short moment. So you might want to bump up with a different gas type that works better with colder weather. Or you even go for the CO2 magazines. Let's say it's winter or something like that. I might imagine that then it will work as well, quite well. Of course with different... Uh, it will have a different pressure of course on the temperatures but still should work but outperform the green gas at those moments um, yeah I clearly have tested it only on two nozzles and only in one temperature setting that is uh, around here quite mild so not extreme hot but also not cold a bit of middle ground so uh, yeah it's no not not an extreme extensive testing let's say so i cannot say about winter use how it will cycle i might give it a try when it's winter how it performs about the nozzles i've used one green gas nozzle that one is an angel customs one that had got a rocket valve inside that is quite let's say high flow it generally gives more fps than all the nozzles do and you will notice that it will give the CO2 more chance to flow out with a high uh, pressure and it will accelerate the BB more than the green gas can do. Um, with HPA, comparative speaking, it's not that crazy. It is about when you go at the higher end, so let's say 140 psi with compressed air, you get around the same speeds, let's say. 
so it's not extreme speeds comparatively speaking with uh, what I've done before with testing but compared to the green gas and red gas it's clearly higher uh, when you use a nozzle that is made for both let's say for green gas and CO2 you can see it clearly wants to drag the CO2 more down uh, so it is a little bit more balanced you might consider it a little bit too low I'm not sure uh, it really depends on your field requirement but you can see that it isn't quite balanced um, setup in the sense that the, um, no matter the barrel length that you are using it kind of gives you the same speeds relatively speaking a little bit of a change but not drastically that you normally would see in a nozzle setup which yeah, I keep in mind it was only done with the VTEC CO2 magazine I do expect that all the magazines perform more or less the same than this one and also the nozzles will give a little bit of a different FPS output in most cases it should be a little bit lower than the one from Angel Customs but but yeah overall I'm quite happy with uh, the results and also that it could be kind of balanced out with the other gas types so you can use it as basically a backup in case uh, one system is not working I do have to say because of the FPS jump you might not want to do it with a regular bolt setup you might want to have a um, dedicated CO2 nozzle setup ready so you can swap it out and then run CO2 in case you have some issues with your green gas or other gases that you're using um, yeah that's basically the benefit with HPA that you don't have to worry about that but I'm not really that good with ex experience let's say with green gas and sometimes it feels like when I hear feedback from the, the builders I have that green gas can be a bit temperamental with sometimes it seems to work and then the other day you go to an event and it doesn't work so yeah maybe it's a platform or maybe it's user error I cannot say that, that much about it because I have not that much experience with green gas but it, it can be a little bit strange that it's experienced as well in the past that sometimes this build was working great on green gas and then I picked it up later and I did not want to cycle on green gas so yeah you can blame the system that I have with it that it is too sensitive to green gas with that or it is uh, something that uh, is user error on the green gas part that is might be might be a possibility as well Something that you will notice with uh, of the CO2 is that the FPS will drop with each shot. So in the beginning it will not be that noticeable. It's a really a little, but it will decline. At a certain point it will uh, be more uh, noticeable how it declines. But um, the amount you can shoot with this platform at least, with this temperature, you can refill the magazine two times uh, plus a little bit more but then it already starts to get a low fps but the cycling is still good also a benefit of the co2 is because it cycles so violently let's say to the back with power you can give the bolt spring if you like also more tension if you feel that is necessary so it can feed the bb more reliably in case you find that it is kind of too finicky with that that's the one benefit of the co2 but of course it's probably better to keep it close to the way it is, how it is recommended. So that way when the weather is getting colder and the pressure of the CO2 is lower, it will still cycle better. That's also a reason, even though I tried all those spring tensions, to kind of see when I reach the maximum of the green gas or the CO2. It's best to play a little bit in the middle ground, so it killed um so when the weather is getting hotter or colder you still kind of in the safe zone to play with but with the c2 something that is worth mentioning even when i used two uh, one millimeter springs it still was cycling the same as before so it was not slowing down 
by any means but I would not recommend going above that because you are hitting the valve uh, imagine let's say that the, the magazine is getting empty you're really hitting that valve really hard without any pressure behind there also you hit the uh, fire pin really hard with a strong spring like that it all gets a little bit because it was getting really stiff as a spring so you can imagine with you maybe start to break down the 3d printed parts if you are unlucky let's say